Howdy out there folks, today we're going to be talking about this John Carpenter film, little scene John Carpenter film, uh, called Memoirs of an Invisible Man, starring Chevy Chase and Daryl Hannah. And of course this is the Screen Factory Blu-ray release, and uh, really well done, in fact. Uh, here's the newly commissioned artwork, I believe. Uh, and there's some uh, poster work from the film, and as you can see, it's a new 2018 uh, high definition transfer uh, created in 2K resolution at uh, Warner Brothers. And it looks great. It also stars uh, Sam Neill, who's also, you know, terrific in it. Um, and of course the big standout in this film were the effects. Uh, some of the CGI in this film is truly astonishing as uh, the tagline goes. It's, uh, it still holds up here in 2022. Um, and I feel like uh, the film is actually pretty entertaining. Now, I do agree with some of the criticism that it didn't quite know what it wanted to be, whether it was going to be a, a romantic comedy, a thriller, or a science fiction film. And I think Carpenter, he was just trying something new by having, um, you know, Chevy in this role where he's basically playing a pretty straight guy. I mean, he's not doing any pratfalls or anything like that. He has a few moments, but essentially he's playing it straight. And, uh, I, you know, I enjoyed it. I, I found it to be entertaining and uh, certainly something that was, uh, you know, of significance uh, given just how incredible the effect work was. Um, I mean, it, to this day, every time I pop it in, I'm always amazed, uh, unlike most films from the early 90s um, that feature CGI, the, the work that was done in here was truly... Uh, top shelf that was uh, amazing so as a film I would say it's probably like a C plus B minus but uh, when you include the effect works uh, the effect work rather and then you know John Carpenter's uh, uh, you know completely noticeable touch uh, I, I give this film a, a B a B B minus uh, and when you factor in nostalgia it goes up to a solid B um, again, you know, is this the best film that John Carpenter has made? No. But is it as bad as what many of the critics said when it came out? Absolutely not. I, I, find, that it to, I find it to be a pretty entertaining film, all things being equal, and uh, certainly has decent rewatch value. Um, and, you know, lastly, I just want to point out that, you know, even though Chevy has obviously a pretty checkered history in terms of his personality and, you know, robbing people the wrong way, but I think he's a pretty talented actor who, uh, for what he did, was really good. And I found him to be really funny. Um, I, I loved his work in Fletch and, uh, you know, the Vacation series. Um, he was great in Foul Play. Uh, you know, he's, he's a good comedic actor, for sure. Um, you know, is he a jerk? Probably. But, uh, you know, I, I won't hold that against him. I'm not having him over for dinner. Uh, but uh, on that note, just please do take care out there, everyone. Stay safe, be kind, and keep watching cinema.